In this video, we'll find the number of protons and electrons for the bromide ion, Br-. This is the negative ion for bromine. On the periodic table, we have a neutral element. We don't have this negative or positive sign. So this is a neutral element. So first, let's find the atomic number of protons and electrons for bromine, and then do the bromide ion. Right here, this 35, this is the atomic number. And the atomic number, that tells us the number of protons. So we have an atomic number of 35 for the neutral atom, Br, and the protons, they'll be 35 as well. When we look at an ion and a neutral element, the only thing that's different, that's the number of electrons. So the atomic number and the protons, they're the same for bromine and the bromide ion, they're 35 atomic number and therefore 35 protons. For the neutral element, for the neutral bromine, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. So we have 35 electrons. For the bromide ion, think of it this way. Normally we consider there to be a one here. We don't really write it. This negative, that means we have one extra electron. Electrons are negative. So instead of 35, we have 36 electrons for Br minus. It's important to understand that when an atom loses an electron, negative charge, it becomes positive. The atom that receives that electron, it gets the negative charge it becomes a negative ion. This is Dr. B with the number of protons and electrons for Br minus, the bromide ion. Thanks for watching.